Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about the Monday.com and Slack integration. And by the end of this video, you know exactly everything that you need to know to get started. Hey, I'm Patrick with Productivity Tools, and we have helped over 100 small businesses with setting up their Monday.com accounts. So if you need help with a custom implementation, feel free to reach out. My contact details are in the description below. Ready? Let's get started. So before we get started, it's important to know what the Slack app can be used for. It can be used in two ways, but it really depends on where you live. And that's kind of unfortunate. For everyone that lives in Europe, like me, we can only use the Slack integration to send notifications from Monday to Slack, but we cannot do anything from Slack to Monday. And I'll show you what that means. What we can all do, whether we're from the US, you know, Asia, or Europe or whatever, it doesn't really matter. You can send notifications from Monday to Slack. So in the automation center here at the top right, if you click there and you type Slack, and you click Slack, you see a lot of Slack integrations and automations. If you click on a, one of them, such as, let's say when a column changes, notify in a channel, let's click there. It will ask you to integrate with Slack. If you click connect, it will ask you to install the Slack app in your workspace. So click allow the green, green button and then in a few seconds, you'll be back in Monday, like I am now, and the Slack app is installed. As you can see, we can now do things here. So we can say when a status column changes, notify in channel. So we can say, well, we're going to notify people. Here you can use all your columns. You can put them in your automation recipe. The only columns that it doesn't support at the moment are mirror columns, so keep that in mind. So you can type whatever you want here, and then in what channel, and I have a channel called Slack Demo, to test this with you guys. So if I click create automation and I go and change something, I say, for example, working on it will be done. I go to my Slack channel. You'll see one of the columns of Pulse item one in Slack integration was changed by Patrick. So you can add some information here. Very important, very helpful. However, you cannot do anything from Monday back to Slack, which I'll show you in a second. But first, it's important to know that you can change this automation in many different ways. So you can use the pre-built templates from Monday or you can just click add automation, which is being one of the most powerful things. You can do whatever you want. So you could say when an item is created and, and by the way, I did that with this plus icon and the status is for example, stuck and uh, the person is uh, Patrick, only then send a Slack message in a channel. Very, very powerful. You can do a lot with it. So you would click on your Slack account here as well. But do the same thing. You notify the channel with a nice message, test, and you send it to a specific channel. Slack demo in my case. And now it works as well. In this case is kind of a weird example because it doesn't really happen that a Slack item is created or Monday item is created. And the status is stuck and the person is Patrick, unless you create it in a different way than you would be able to do from the front end. But you get the point. You can do a lot with it. So that's a very interesting one. Another thing to keep in mind, if you want to tag people, that's also possible. Well, not people, you can tag a channel or everyone. So when you're in your notification and you type this, everyone, so open bracket and then exclamation mark, everyone close. Then you can tag everyone. You can also tag a channel by doing it here like this, or you can do it here, which also tags everyone in a channel. So you can use those three to tag people. Let me show you what it looks like. So let's tag everyone in this case. So when a status changes, uh, let's change it to work on it and go to Slack. You'll see everyone is tagged. I will remove this one just to make sure that uh, my whole team doesn't get attacked. But you get the point. It's quite interesting that you can tag everyone in a company. And if you do add here or add channel, it will tag everyone in that channel. So it's also very helpful. Now, what is this whole thing with Europe and other continents? Well, let me show you something of the Monday documentation. As you can see here, limited availability for accounts whose data is stored in the EU. At this time, following Slack features are not available to users whose data is stored in the EU. Slack notifications located in the user profile, which I'll show you in a second, and Monday shortcuts accessed in Slack. So if you're in Monday or in Slack and you type slash and you do slash Monday, you see all these cool things like creating items from Monday. But if I would do it, it would say error dispatch failed. It would just keep giving errors because I'm in the EU. I also tried this with a Monday account in the US and connected to my Slack account, but still had the same errors. So either it's currently failing for every continent or it's just a uh, Europe where it's not working, unfortunately. So keep that in mind. If something doesn't work, you know why. And that's uh, that's the biggest reason. Another thing I want to show you is the system notification. So if you're not in the EU and you click here and go to my profile, you'll actually see here on the top left personal info. But if you scroll down to notifications, you have this Slack image here. And if you click here, 
It will also ask you to, you know, connect with Slack. In my case, probably something will break right now. So let's click authorize. Basically, there you go. It's been connected. Basically, if I would refresh my account now, uh, what should happen is that I should be able to um, now connect, there you go, send messages to my Slack channel or to myself in Slack when something like this happens. So when I get mentioned, when I'm assigned to an item, I can get a message in Slack, which is quite cool, but unfortunately it doesn't work in Europe either. So keep that in mind. If you're on the enterprise plan or you already have access to Monday workflows, it's also good to keep in mind that you can access the Slack integration here as well. Let me show you. So here at the top right, I have the workflow center. And I can say, let's add a workflow. I call it Slack workflow. What you'll be able to see here is after it's been, uh, after it's loaded, there you go. I can say when an item is created. And here I can also say, then notify Slack. I can create a channel or invite people to a channel. And a great thing about Monday workflows, if you're not aware yet, you can do a lot more than with the normal automation center. So you can have if else, if, if else things. So for example, when an item created, if something is yes, do step A. And if it's no, do step B. So you can do a lot of cool things there. So keep that in mind. That is everything that you need to know about the Monday to Slack integration. So keep in mind for Europe, it's relatively limited. I have to say, in my opinion, it's most powerful to be used as you know, something happens in Monday and we notify people in Slack just in case or just as a reminder, but that's very good and important to keep in mind. So if you run into problems and you live in the EU, that's probably why. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you liked it. If so, please leave a like. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll try to answer all of your questions to help you as much as possible. If you want more of these free Monday.com tips, you can subscribe to my newsletter. You can also find that one in the description below where you receive free Monday tips on a weekly basis to make most out of the platform. Form. But if you need help with a custom implementation, you can also reach out to me. Description has also my contact details. Well, hopefully you liked it and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.